Come on down, step aside. Yoda Joe's about to ride through the night out of sight. Come on in and take a bite. Now we're here in the night. That's right, boys. Time to fight. It's my turn. I'm a burn down these halls. Nothing left in the halls of my mind. Cause it's my time to shine. Take a seat. Let's begin. All you fools, listen in. Nowhere left to hide. Let it out. Take a dive. Welcome to the dark side. Hey guys, it's Georgia 93 And as you know, we're in the middle of March now with only, we're into our second week of March. And I thought it was time that we talk about, March is a big month for movies. It's huge. So, I've already seen Creed 3, I've seen 65, I've seen Scream. I'm working on reviews for all of those for you guys. My 65 review is out on my YouTube channel right now. You guys can watch it as a YouTube short. So, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's pretty good. But, what I wanted to talk about was the remaining movies that we know of in March. What ones am I most excited about and which ones am I least excited about? So... At the bottom of the list, I'm going to say Dungeons and Dragons because I don't, I, Chris Pine's in it, I, I, I like Michelle Rodriguez, there's good people in the movie. What is that again? It's an owl there. Let's go! But compared to the other two movies on this list, I just think that I would put Dungeons and Dragons at number three. And that's going to be seen at the end of the month. But, I think the other two on this list, we already know how it's going to go. Alright, so, yeah, Dungeons & Dragons looks fun. I, I just don't know if it's going to be good or not, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, let's go next, number two on the list. Number two is going to be, um, it's going to be Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. But I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family! Reviews didn't come out until literally one week before it comes out, which was this week. Um, and so I'm still quite a bit nervous for this movie. I love Shazam 1. I want to love Shazam 2 so much. Like, I, I do. I really want to love it. But it just... I don't know, because the reviews came out a week early, and that's kind of a bad... They didn't come out as early as they should have. So I'm a little worried. But I trust um, David Sandberg. He did a great job with the first movie. I love Zachary Levi. I think the family dynamic can be really fun. So I hope this movie's good. I do. I really do. All right. Next up, let's talk about final thing on the table. What's the number one movie I'm looking forward to in March? John Wick 4, baby. That's right. Look, look, I mean, we've been through this, okay? I've said, I've made many videos. I've talked about it. But I guess I'm going to have to talk about it one more time with you. John Wick 4, Clancy Brown, Bill Skarsgård, Donnie Yen, Scott Atkins. So you mean to tell me, John Wick's going up against Boyka, Pennywise, I mean, Mr. Krabs over there, like, dude, that's a crazy lineup. And we still got Lawrence Fishburne and Ian McShane and even more people, plus they got fucking Scorpion from Mortal Kombat in here. Who also was the uh, samurai from Bolt Train. So, yeah. I'm thinking John Wick 4 is going to be pretty amazing. And the early reviews have only further proved that. So, yeah. In terms of March movies I'm most looking forward to. It's Dungeons and Dragons at number 3. Shazam at number 2. And John Wick at number 1. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this. What are your top 3 March movies for the year or for the month? I'm dying to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. If you like to see here and you want to see more, click right over here to see more. Have a great day. I still got some life in me.